there. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Tina Carini with spongeandstamp.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Byron, Georgia. I have another cue card for you today. I actually thought about it as I was filming the Slimline card using the Hey Chick stamp set and I had to quickly write it down so that I didn't forget my idea. And let me show you what I came up with. So we're gonna be using the Sweet Strawberry stamp set along with the punch. We're also gonna be using um, one of the dies from the Chick Dies. And we are going to be using the Hey Chick stamp set. So my idea was to have a chick in the middle of a strawberry patch. So let me show you how I came up with that. First of all, we're gonna be needing a card base. This is Daffodil Delight. This is um, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We're gonna have a basic black layer that is just, uh, I think it is five and a quarter by four. And then we have, or no, I'm sorry. This is five and five and an a five and three eighths I think I'll have the measurements listed down below um, I'm, I apologize I can't remember what I cut that at this is four by five and a quarter so this would just be like an eighth of an inch bigger is what it is then we have some strips for stamping and punching and let's go ahead and move these things aside we're gonna bring in our Whisper white, or not whisper white, basic white cardstock that we're going to do our stamping on. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my stamps that I'm going to be using. We're going to go ahead and stamp everything out, and then we're going to color, and then we're going to punch. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the strawberry stem. So I'm going to make like a strawberry patch is what I'm going to attempt to do. So I'm going to come in from the bottom corner, just about there, and we're gonna stamp it off. And then I'm gonna do it again, and again, and again. <laughs> and then we're gonna come up, I'm gonna bring it in like so, just like that, and again, probably about three more times we're gonna do it. I'm gonna bring this one in from here, and then, we're gonna do it again and one more two more times actually and then I'm gonna come in from here um, probably about like so I'm thinking just like that and then one more time wait till you see this I think you're gonna love it because I I do I think it's great Okay, so just like so. So there we have created our strawberry patch. Now I'm going to put that aside because, oh, black ink. Um, I don't wanna mess that up. So we're gonna bring in our strips and we're gonna stamp our chicken. Gonna ink that up. I'm using Memento Black Ink because we are going to be using some more Stampin' Blends and that's the best ink to use. So there's our chicken. So we're going to put that aside. We don't need that. So now we need our strawberries. So I'm going to come in with a, um, I think I can get three strawberries on there. I'm going to stamp one strawberry. Two strawberries and I'm probably not going to be able to get three so we'll just bring in this one this will work and we've got another strawberry all right so now I need to do my leaves so let me look at my punch and make sure I'm gonna stamp this in the right direction so I need a leaf here I think I can fit one right here. So we need, okay, well that didn't stamp very well. So we'll stamp another one. So I'm gonna stamp another leaf right there. And then I need our strawberry toppers, the little stems that go on there. 
And let's see, I'm going to stamp here, here, and here. And then we need our flower, which is right here. And we need three of those. Oop, that didn't stamp good. I wonder if I can line that up without sticking. Nah, I didn't really like that. And we could probably stamp one right here. That will, ow, not inking that up very well. Let's just stamp it on the back. Probably maybe get away with that. If not, it's okay. All right. So now I'm just going to quickly color. I am not going to color all of these because um, I've already done most of the work with the coloring already. But I just kind of wanted to show you how I did it. So for the flowers, I took my light yellow daffodil delight and just kind of quickly colored in there and I didn't really fully color all the white I left some of the white and just did that on all of them so I'll just do that for right now and then I did took the dark kind of colored in the center and then just kind of swooshed out just kind of colored in the center and then just whisked it whisked it, whisked it out just like so. Okay, that's how I did that so you can kind of see better. We'll go ahead and color that in. These are brand new yellow markers, so they're kind of, the lids are tight. Okay, there we go. So that's how I did that. And then for the leaves, I wanted to use Granny Apple Green, but my light Granny Apple Green I have used it so much, it was so well loved, that all the ink was gone. So I decided that I would use the light old olive and then bring in the dark granny apple green. And I kind of like the way that it looked. So that's what we're going to do today too. So I just colored in my leaves, did the same thing, no fancy coloring, left some white patches in there, and then I brought in my dark granny apple green and just kind of did on the, the veins of the leaves, just like that. And then to soften it up a little bit, I just took my light old olive again and just kind of went over it just a little bit, just to kind of blended some. Okay, so just like that. So hopefully you can see. So you can see a little bit of contrasting colors and it looks really pretty, I think. All right, so that's how I did that. I did the whole thing that way. And then we did the same, woo, we did the same thing with the strawberry stems. So just kind of colored those in, just like so. Okay, and then we took the granny apple green again and just kind of colored it in. A little bit darker in the center and swished it out. All right, so that's how we did that. And then we already did the flowers. I did these flowers the exact same way. So I just used the yellow, light yellow, daffodil to light. Thought I grabbed the dark there for a second just like so, no fancy coloring whatsoever. And then I came in with the dark and just kind of swish that out just like so. So see if you can see, so that's what I did. Okay, so then with the strawberries, we are using both the dark and the light poppy parade. And I just took it using my bullet point and just went around the edges of the strawberry just like that and then I took the brush side so that I could color it a little faster and I did not go up on it all the way I kind of left some so like that some I didn't go up as high, some, some I did. And then I come back in and I'm using the bullet tip so that I can pull that darker poppy parade down some so that there's not that harsh of a line there. And 
just like so. And then the same down here, just pull that out and lightly covered it. So just like so. So when you look at a strawberry, sometimes they're really ripe at the bottom and a little green or lighter at the top. But that was what I was trying to achieve and I don't think I did such a bad job. So that's how I did the strawberry. So I'll do this one one more time. Just around. I'll just go ahead and use this bullet tip, just like so. Oops, I just went out of the line because I'm trying to make this quick. Okay, and then I took um, the light again and just did the same thing. Just kind of pulling that down, pushing it up, just like that. Okay, so that's how I created my strawberries. And my leaves, we did the leaves the same way. I don't, um, I'll just do it real quick. So we did the leaves the same way, the light old olive. Of course, if you have the granny apple green, the light in the dark, I would just use that because it's really pretty. Um, or you could just use, do it this way too. All right, so, and then we're just gonna swish this just like so. And then I'm just going to kind of soften that up a little. All right. So there we go. So that's how I did them all. And then I just took my punch. Let me move these out of the way. Oh wait, we have to color our chicken. So the chicken, I didn't really color the whole body because we're not going to use the whole body, but I did use, um, I did color most of it, except for its feet, because I chopped off its feet. So I'm just going to color this really quickly. I really didn't do much shading on this, because again, um, we're just taking part of the body. And just doing that. No shading, nothing special at all. I did a better color job, but <laughs> than I'm doing here. I'm just trying to do it really quickly colored in his face and then I use the dark pumpkin pie for her nose and then I didn't do anything special I just used my um, light Bermuda Bay and sometimes when you're using all these different colors you got to remember what color am I using now okay and then I just kind of colored in the feathers I know I'm not doing a great job here, but just colored in the feathers and then I just colored in all of, um, all of that. So I just colored them all in, just carefully did them one by one. I did take some dark, um, some dark, Bermuda Bay, and I went over, um, like where, where, uh, her crown would be kind of sort of, I guess you would say, or her part and just kind of darkened that in. I did do that. Okay. So then this is where the dyes come in. So I, have you guys seen these dyes? These are awesome. Look, you get all the dyes for all three chickens. You get the dye for the, uh oh, for the, um, I have lost a die. I am going to be tearing. Oh, there it is for the egg. Whoo, scared me. Okay. Um, you get, um, chicken wire. You get a little eggs here, little corns and the corn husks that hold the corn, the sign, a tree stump, the corn bush, um, little seeds or little kernel corns. If you want to call them that the barn, so this is a really cool set. I love it. Okay, so I did take the little chicken here and I just lined it up on here and ran it through my boss, the Stampin' Cut and Boss Machine. And then I had my chicken and I've already cut 
my chicken's legs off. So this is what we're going to be using. And then I took my punch and punched out my strawberries. So I had three strawberries. I punched out three strawberries. I punched out a leaf. So I just punch these all out. You just line them up in there. They line up really nicely. They punch beautifully. And then my flower, I punched out my flower. Um, I did three of each, three flowers, three leaves, three stems, and three strawberries. So just like so. So that's what I did. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's put these aside and bring in the other ones that we have. So we're gonna need, I'm gonna move this out of the way because I don't think we need that. Um, I'm gonna bring in the card that I've already colored so that we can save a little time here. And we're gonna layer that on there. But before I layer that, we're gonna build our card. So hopefully I didn't lose any pieces here. Um, they got pushed to the side. Let me make sure that I have them all. I've already assembled the strawberries. So I, I think you guys have probably seen how to use the strawberry punch and all the um, all the, the stems and stuff. So I don't think I have to show you how to put those together. Um, so you just glue them on is all you do. So you just put glue and you glue them on the top of your strawberries where you want them. And we're just going to place our strawberries. We have our leaves, but I only need three leaves. I need my chicken. And there's a flower. There's a flower. And here's a flower. Okay, so now we're going to put all of this together. And I got to think and remember how I had it placed because it was just so stinking cute. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to pop almost everything up. So I am going to take my dimensionals and woohoo, clean sheet <clears throat> and put them on the back of the strawberries for sure. I know I am popping up my strawberries. So and one or two of the leaves Oh shoot, did you just see what I did? Ah, okay, yay. All right, so I may put one or two of the leaves like behind it um, somehow. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I know this guy here is gonna go here and he is gonna go behind the strawberry, just like so. And I may pop this strawberry up twice and pop him up once, or her up once. So we're gonna do just like so. Um, let's see here. I want that to be kind of like that. I want her to be tilted. Um, this one's gonna come up here. Actually, I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit, up and up and up. So something like that, okay? So let's go ahead and to get these going. And if I don't get these in the exact place that they need to be, actually, we're going to pop her up too. So let me just use a dimensional, two dimensionals on her. And let me make sure that I like that before we glue it down. I'm going to put two on here so that pops it up even more. Or, really and truthfully, I think I like that. Oh, I didn't want to do that though. So let me take the backings off of these. And she is going to go like right here, like so. And then this one is going to go just like that. And then over here, we're going to put this one just like, just like that. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that looking so sweet? We don't really have to do anything else to that. I don't have to add these leaves, um, but I just thought that maybe it just might be okay just to add a couple under there. Um, 
You know what? I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to pop our flowers up. So we'll put a flower here and we'll put, um, pop a flower up here just like that. I think I almost like it better without our leaves. Hmm. When I do my Facebook Lives, I, at this point, I would ask you guys, what do you think? But this is not a live video. This is a recorded video. Um, maybe that looks pretty good, just like that. So we'll just do that. So we'll just put some glue on here. We cut them out and we colored them. We might as well use them because we got to have fun and do this. So I just put a little glue on that. And I am just going to stick this one. And you know what? If it goes off the edge, I'm okay with that. And let's do this one too. So if you don't have this stamp set yet, <laughs> I know that this card is probably going to make you want both of them. Okay. Or if you do have them, I know that this card is going to make you want to do this because this is absolutely, you know what, I think we are going to pop this up to like, um, come on glue, like I'm going to tuck this, like kind of get this to go sticking on my strawberry somehow or another. Well, shoot, come on. I wonder if I can, I don't want to bend my strawberry all up. I'm going to stick it right up underneath there like that so that that also is popped up a little. I think I really, really like that. All right, and we are going to do one more thing, and that is pop up our little flowers. Because I always say that when you pop things up, it makes it look a little bit more fancier. Okay, and I know I have another flower right here. I could be using my mini dimensionals, but honestly, I'm not sure what I did with them. Okay, so now we are going to put that one right there. And we can put this one right there. Isn't this adorable? Oh, how did I get four? Oh, because I punched one out. Silly me. Okay, there we go. All right, so we can stamp a sentiment up here. You can stamp thinking of you. You can stamp, use one of the sentiments that's in either stamp set. Like, I wonder if happy birthday or a thank you. You know what? I need a thank you card. Actually, I need several thank you cards. So I am going to use thank you. And... I think we're just going to stamp it in black too. So I'll bring in my Memento Black Ink and hope that I can stamp this straight is what I hope I can do. I think I do want to stamp it first and make sure. Sometimes I don't clean my stamps off. I get in such a hurry, so I got to make sure that um, I did. <laughs> Let's ink that back up again. And let's bring in our card here. Let's straighten it up. I'm gonna stand up so that I can stamp that right there. And it's a thank you card for the chicken eating my strawberries. How about that? <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to put that on the basic black layer. And I'm just going to go around the edge. If this is the first time that you're watching my channel, thank you so much. And I hope that you will subscribe to my channel by clicking that red button, the red subscribe button. And then make sure that you ring the bell too so that you don't miss any future videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and fold this on our score line. Let's bring in our bone folder to give this a nice crisp fold, just like so. And then we're going to put that on top. Like, so. oh, oh, that went flying. I just dropped it. Okay, let's 
it's okay. Alrighty. And then we are going to layer that right down here. Try to get it as straight as I can, just like that. And then there we go. There is our card. We can do the inside. Let's do the inside real fast here. We've got a piece. We can carry in our vine. And instead of coloring them all, we could... Um, Mm, I think I want to carry the same thing. So let's go ahead. We don't have to, I don't have to sit here and color it all. Because um, you guys saw how I colored it. So we could kind of like bring that in from there, just like so. So there's our strawberry. And if we wanted to, you could um, stamp your chicken too if you wanted to. But I think we're just going to do our leaves. And then we're just going to quickly color that in just so that we have a finished inside. It's not naked. It is decorated very pretty. Okay, so let's, there we go. And then you could color in your green, which I didn't do it. Did I do it? Yes, I did. I did do it on the outside of that. Okay, and then quickly color our little flowers here. Oop, I wanted the bullet tip because I'm dangerous with, I'm dangerous with this tip. <laughs> All right, so let's just get those colored and come back in with our dark. Give this a little wishy-wishy here, swish, swish, swish. And then right there, okay, there we go. And then you could stamp another sentiment if you want to, or you can just leave it like that and write something very special in there. But I tell you, this card is sure to bring a huge smile to somebody's face. That is for sure. And I hope that you give this a try. And if I can help you with ordering any of the products that I use, please just contact me. You can contact me at um, spongeandstamp.com at hotmail no i'm sorry sponge and stamp at hotmail.com okay there we go hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for joining me and again don't forget to subscribe all the measurements and the products that i used i will list down below and please give me a thumbs up okay thank you you guys have a wonderful day doodly doo